Hey guys, Andrew Esquivel here, back with another tutorial. Now, if you open up Steam and there are ads everywhere, I'm talking on the Steam main page here, or on the Steam news, or popping up in Steam web browsers suddenly everywhere, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of them. Now, what's happening is, well, Steam is a browser-based program. And unfortunately, that means it's susceptible to browser-based malware. In this case, we have a program that's running something through JavaScript, and it is embedding ads in places it does not belong. Now, here's the thing. The most common way this comes about is via a Trojan, meaning you downloaded a program thinking it was one thing, you installed it, but secretly it was actually something else. In this case, a malicious type of adware. Uh, here's the thing, to get rid of it, not very hard. You just need to know what particular program you accidentally installed, where it's installed, and how to uninstall it. And thankfully, I have that information, or at least for what it is in my case. So if we come over here, you'll see the program files where this Trojan program is located. Now, on my computer, it's local disk C program files, and it's under a folder named pack. Look, as long as you install stuff in the default directory, it's going to be on whatever disk is uh, where program files are located. Generally, that's where your operating system is located. Uh, go into program files, not program files 86 if you're running 64-bit operating system. Just program files and look for the folder named pack. This right up here, pack. That's where all this is installed. And all this, this hidden launcher sync.exe, hidden launcher async exe, these are the things that are putting ads all over the place. And if we go into service, we can kind of see what's all going on in here. Uh, proxy. We see we got a lot of stuff going on in here. And LSP, you know, we got different things for different versions of Windows. So this is a pretty thorough virus. So believe it or not, to get rid of it, yes, that button that says uninstall is literally the thing you use. Now, this may not show up if you go into control panel and click uninstall programs. I don't know why it's not showing up there, but it's not showing up. Luckily, I was able to find out that this is what it is. So we just click uninstall exe, uninstall English, program files, pack, uninstall, and it's going to remove all that stuff that you accidentally installed when you thought you were installing something else. Click to finish, and as you can see, we really don't have much of anything else in here. There are some residual files, but that is it. Now you can restart Steam, and the ads should be gone. And it's as simple as that. Now, if that did not work for you, that means it's one of two things. One, it wasn't that particular program and maybe there's a different program you accidentally installed that's doing this to you or two it's most likely a browser add-on now if it's a browser add-on it shouldn't be too hard to get rid of it uh, I believe we go into Steam settings web browser and clear the clash cache here clear the cookies I don't know if that's necessarily gonna get rid of any add-ons I don't think Steam Browser is working off of other browsers. Because uh, Valve wanted this to be cross-platform, they kind of developed their own system here. Um, so uninstalling and reinstalling Steam generally doesn't seem to help, even if you do a power uninstall and get rid of all the stuff in the hidden folders. And unfortunately, anti-adware, anti-malware, anti-whatever never seems to catch whatever is causing this making this a very particularly difficult issue to solve. And some people say, oh, well, you may have to end up reformatting. Hopefully you don't end up having to go that far. But if nothing in this tutorial has worked for you, please put it in the comments. YouTube is a community. Maybe someone 
has stumbled across this video and has found a solution. But for me, software is anywhere from a vast malware bytes, anti malware, adaware, and gosh, I've tried so many more just to try and see if we can find it. None of them found it, but uh, I did eventually find it on my own. So hopefully that works for you. If it does, give me a big old like on the button. Press the like button for me. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends. Check out my other videos. I got plenty of them. And as always, I'll see you next time. Keep on gaming.